My next guest has a dream summer job. He gets to spend six months living and working in South Africa with lions, leopards, elephants and hippos. And the good news for us is that we get to see the fruits of his labours on Sunday evenings in Wild at Heart. What are you saying? Rosie and Id. They, uh, well, you know, girlfriend and man friend. It's... Rosie and Ed. You've been at your hooch again. It's true. Fiona saw them together. But it's nearly twice her age. No, it doesn't make sense. And Rosie's a married woman. She wouldn't. When last did you hear her talk about Max? Are you so sure this isn't possible? I, mean, I don't know. But... Rosie and Ed? No. No. No way. They must be there, mustn't they? Please welcome Stephen Tomkinson. <laughs> Well turned oh, out, I always stepped undressed. Mr. T. It's tea time. There we go. TNT, Tit and Tom. I wish I hadn't said that. Yes, exactly. I don't know which one's which. I don't know which is worse. Welcome back, because it is welcome back. You spend these great five months you go out there to film for I know, I know. It really does. Someone's got to do it. It's an absolute treat. And, you know, the more time we spend there, the closer we get to the animals and the the better the pictures that we can bring for you, we hope. But also, you must have got much better with animals. I mean, you, I, I know you've not become a vet by pretending to be a vet, but you must have learnt such a lot over well, the years. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a, I think it's a six-year course, and we've done seven years now. <laughs> I, at least you get an honorary, <laughs> an honorary vetship. <laughs> you've had company this time, fresh company. You've got Robert Bathurst coming out I know, what Joe a treat. Me. What yeah. a treat. And Jill Halfpenny uh, will be in this Sunday show. Yeah. yeah, so that's been great. And is it quite fun when, you know, an old stage like so to have a, a bit of company out there. It is, it yes, and then you, you can show off all your four-legged or three-legged friends, in the case of the cheetah, uh, oh, to, yes. to new people. So now, you know, you've had one or two sadnesses out there. Hamley, the giraffe, yeah. alas, no longer with us. That must be a sadness, because when you've been out there seven years, of course, some animals will start to disappear. It's the way of the world. Yes, isn't it? exactly. And, you know, we, yes, birth, births and deaths, we see, we see all life there. And you, mm. more than any other place I've ever been to, you, you just feel surrounded by nature. Well, a lot of people want to swim with dolphins, but you've swum with an elephant in this one. Yes. That was an experience. Uh, we had to be introduced to Chikulu which, um, a month before we, we actually did the filming, um, which was in August when the water was quite cold. Yeah. And he didn't like the cold water. He just wanted to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, and it was my job to get out of the way. But, uh, but a month later, he, he very kindly... Uh, let me swim with him and guide him across, and uh, yeah, what a treat! And and then went and joined his his other friends on the other and side. What do elephants swim like? I mean, they're brilliant. Yeah. They really love, and they can half go. Yeah, so <laughs> so it's yes, your job, job as I say, to up. get out the way. Mm. But then the giraffe, the problem with the giraffe as well. Poor old. Thing. Yeah, Ham no, Hamley's I, I, Hamley's sister Lucy. Yeah. It was it was one of those uh, bizarre calls that you don't get on many sets, which was just as we were going home to say. Uh, it said to the guy who drives me around, Lance, who also does uh, stills photography. Said before you go, um, can you bring your camera? Because Lucy's fallen in the swimming pool. Oh, and uh, and we were terribly worried because she 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 uh, parted her front legs to take a drink yeah. and just slipped and fallen oh. in. So we had to dig out the deep end, and as you saw, it it took a took a while, but she walked out unscathed. Shades of Victor at Marwell's which was Zoom. terribly sad because yes, poor old Victor ago. Victor didn't make it. So that was he? always in the back of my mind. Oh as well, gosh, you're going to go through another one of those. Yeah, yeah. but yes. But you, Claire, Steve, this is clearly a job you relish doing this. Oh, so absolutely. So doubly exciting for you that the series is so popular. Oh, delightful! But and, and the timing of it's always so great. Mm. You know, getting these amazing picture postcard vistas uh, and some of the most incredible animals in the world on Sunday nights in February. It couldn't be better. When, so what time are you out there? Your stint we, is... we go out from July through to December, yeah. so it, it's their winter coming into full summer. What do you miss when you're away? Um, cricket 
I mean, I get to I get to watch the cricket and get to see South Africa play at home. Yeah. But, uh, but I miss watching England at home. Oh, you, should, you should can't do any more because you're out there. Yeah. Do, is it? I mean, can you see this going on and on? Are you happy to stay with it as long as it goes? Oh, I, I'd love to as long as you know the, we're, we're supported as well as we are by the audience. Does it give you a chance to do other things? What else can you do when you're back? Um, well, over there. No, no when you're back here. Oh, from back over here. There. Well, um, I, I, I get to go to Leeds. <laughs> And, and be DCI Banks for a bit. So, uh, so we're still getting that then? Yes, yes. We're going back uh, next month to film uh, another three, three of Peter's books. So it's another six hours. And I can't See, wait. Yeah, not only are you in a significantly different scenario, Leeds, from mm -hmm. going out there in Africa. It can also be as wild, though. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but a significantly different character as well, a different mindset. Yes, and and which is lovely for any actor, having mm. the variety. And, uh, and, you know, because they're both for, for ITV, they, they make the timings work. So it's uh, but very he's, privileged. He's a particularly... Banks, he's a particularly... Contained. Absolutely, character. he's uh, he's he's the man you want uh, on on your case, not yeah. on your back. Yeah. yeah. So you're happy doing both? Very. I'd be better very, off. Would it be better off if it was summer in if it was summer in Leeds and winter in Africa rather than the other way about? Well, I suppose it'd be sh it'd be a shorter summer. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's the future hold? Um, well, I've just come back from uh, doing my first lead in a, in a British movie called Harrigan. Uh, set in 1970s Newcastle, uh, written by Arthur Mackenzie, who was a policeman in Newcastle in the 70s. He went on secondment to Hong Kong for a couple of years, and when he came back, he saw that they'd taken a lot of bobbies off the beat and replaced them with the panda car and closed down local section houses in, in, uh, to increase centralisation in bigger stations, and certain estates were going to sort of rack and ruin, and he, he came back like the sheriff and cleaned up one estate yeah. practically single-handed. So it's like a, a modern western, but set in 1970s Newcastle. So, but um, um, you, you've obviously not gone into films much. Well, I think mean, I doubt that you've had time to do films. <laughs> Would you like to do more films? Is that not a, Yes, a I mean, I, I, I think it's, uh, it's always the most glamorous thing, seeing yourself up on the, on the silver screen, as we remember it. Uh, we. We. Well, no, you know, well, we do. We some do. of us. Some of us. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy mixing and matching the mediums. I, I started off in radio, which is still a, a real personal love of mine, and, and doing theatre as well. Why? Because radio is so intimate, do you think? Yes, I think, and, and it's the next best thing to read in a book. You get the voices, and you have to do a lot of the work as to where it's set and what the characters look like, so it's very personal. As a radio producer friend of mine once said, the colour is so much better in radio. Well, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's lovely to have you with us. Wild at Heart is on this Sunday at 8.30 on ITV1. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Tompkinson. Now, my next guest has established herself as one of the most celebrated classical singers.